this 7 News Update brought to you by AMP, helping you plan your financial future. Good evening. A court has heard of a link between a former Melbourne taxi driver and Osama bin Laden. It's alleged the Muslim convert Jack Thomas was recruited to carry out surveillance work in Australia after coming into contact with the Al-Qaeda leader. The prosecution claims the case is based on confessions the 31-year-old made to Australian Federal Police in Pakistan last year. Bail was refused and Thomas will reappear in court early next year. Indonesian police say four men arrested over the Australian embassy bombing in Jakarta were planning more deadly attacks. They also claim the men were about to detonate suicide bomb belts when they were captured. Among those arrested is the man believed to be the coordinator of the embassy yeah. attack. He may also have taken part in the Marriott Hotel and the Bali bombings. They've been doing an excellent job in following up various leads and, um, and ensuring that they do bring to justice those responsible for the Jakarta embassy bombing. Their capture is seen as a major breakthrough in the search for senior Jamaa Islamia figures. Former Labor leader Kim Beasley has ruled out challenging Mark Latham for the party's leadership. There are reports of growing dissatisfaction within the ranks, with Mr Latham's public approval at its lowest level ever. Many MPs are predicting a leadership spill by early next year. The party is struggling to recover from the federal election loss. Today, the state's Labor leaders dismissed claims they contributed to the defeat. Tough new restrictions will soon be introduced to stop young people dying on New South Wales roads. Several options are being considered. They include a limit on passenger numbers and car to weight ratios and lengthening the time spent on L plates. I still sense a complacency and a level of bulletproofness that's very hard to pierce. The plans follow this week's horrific crash at Wyoming on the central coast in which a P-plate driver, a teenage girl and a male passenger were killed. Lindy Chamberlain's children are calling on the Northern Territory Government to apologise for wrongly accusing their mother of murder. Speaking on Today Tonight, Aidan, Regan and Kalia described life growing up in the spotlight with many Australians believing their mother killed her baby. Regan, who's now 28, says he was constantly harassed and called names when he was young. Other children would also say, say stuff to me, so whatever their parents had told them, I don't know. I mean, it's not really all that realistic to think that a lot of children are going to develop their own opinions about what happened. The trio say their parents aren't perfect, but they're no different from anyone else. Finally, tomorrow's weather. Mostly fine for Brisbane and Canberra, clearing skies in Sydney. It'll be fine for Melbourne and Hobart, warming up in Adelaide, a few showers for Perth and 23, and 34 degrees for Darwin. And that's 7 News for this Wednesday. I'm Simon Reeve. Have a great night.